Are you wondering how to calculate the loading in self-propelled modular transporter, or sometime they calling multi-axle trailer? Calculating the loading in a self-propelled modular transporter involves determining several key factors related to the load being transported and the configuration of the SPMT itself. In this video I will show you how to do this manual calculation. SPMTs consist of modular units, each equipped with its own set of axles. These modular units can be connected together to form a larger transporter capable of carrying extremely heavy loads. Each modular unit typically contains multiple axles, which are grouped together in various configurations depending on the specific requirements of the load being transported. Axles can be grouped both longitudinally and laterally to distribute the load weight evenly and provide optimal stability. Determine load weight. The first step is to accurately determine the weight of the load that will be transported on the SPMT. This weight should include the weight of the cargo itself as well as any additional equipment, such as rigging or support structures. For this example, we plan to transport a water tank that weighs 50 tons, and other parameter of tank is mentioned in the slide. Let's consider the center of gravity of the water tank is not in the center. You can refer to my previous video regarding how to do the grouping and stability calculation for self-propelled modular transporter. See and link the description below. For this example, for transporting a water tank, we are using a 10 axle line of self-propelled modular transporter with a power pack unit, and our plan is to use a three-point grouping method. Axle grouping helps maintain the stability of the load being transported. By distributing the weight evenly, SBMTs minimize the risk of load shifting or tipping during transport, enhancing safety for both the cargo and the operators. There is two types of grouping combination you can use, 4-point grouping and 3-point grouping. Group A consists of 5 axle lines, whereas groups B and C each contain of 2.5 axle lines, as shown in the slide. Now you can plot the stability triangle of the three-point grouping. Each three side of the triangle is based on the center of gravity of the grouping. The configuration of the axles on an SPMT plays a significant role in its stability. Different axle arrangements, such as four-point or three-point grouping, are used to evenly distribute the weight of the load and minimize the risk of imbalance. Now, let us get the dimension of this stability triangle. Knowing the center of gravity is critically important for transportation using self-propelled modular transporters. Understanding the center of gravity allows operators to distribute the load weight evenly across the SBMT's axles. By positioning the load properly relative to the center of gravity, operators can prevent overloading of specific axles, which could lead to instability and potential damage to the SPMT or the cargo. Once you determine the dimensions of the stability triangle in relation to the center of gravity of the cargo, we can start the calculation to determine the loading in each group. Let us start the computation. Please take note of the formulas listed in the slide, and get your calculator ready, so you can follow me in my computation. Let's define each dimension with a letter, so that it's easier to understand. Calculate the load at group A. To get this, total load multiply by D2 over DT1. The next step is to compute the loading for groups B and C. First things first, let's get the shear loading for groups B and C. Total weight of the cargo minus load at group A. Once you get the shear loading for B and C, let's start to calculate the load in group B. 
total load at B and C multiply by D3 over DT2. This is the same things for group C. The loading in group B and C is the same, since the center of gravity of the cargo is between the center point of this grouping. Once the center of gravity of the cargo is offset from the center, the loading in each grouping will be different. Based on the computation, you now have all the details regarding the loading for each grouping. The importance of this calculation is to prevent overloading of specific axle and also for the stability of your transportation. It's often advisable to incorporate a safety margin into your calculations to account for unforeseen factors or variations in load distribution. This margin helps ensure that the SPMT operates safely within its capacity limits. By following these steps and carefully evaluating the load weight, distribution, and SPMT specifications, you can accurately calculate the loading in an SPMT and ensure safe and efficient transportation of heavy loads.